Hello, you welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Two Point Hospital where we are trying our best to build a pretty solid sandbox mode hospital. So today, what I would like to work on in our uh, sandbox setup is um, a sort of like research and development area, I guess. A sort of like a uh, bit of training, a bit of basically where, where, where members of the public aren't really going to be going. So training, um, staff room, uh, things like that. Uh, what do you need? A ward? No, we're not doing wards today. Did you not just hear what I said? Uh, we're going to open this one up. 130 grand. Oof, that's a bit of a, uh, that's a bit of a price jump. We'll speed it up. Because no, we haven't got to worry about wards yet. We are going to get wards set up later though. We'll with the different kind of wards. I think the, the um, the one for uh, broken legs and stuff, and then the normal one as well. Um, how long is this taking? It's about halfway through. Uh, yeah, because look, we've got. Ward. Um, there is another one, isn't there? Injection. A oh, fracture ward. There it is. Yeah. And there's a few that we haven't really seen yet. Surgery. But really, what I'd like to do. Do you need a ward as well? Ward required. Go home. It cannot be done. Um, I want to try and really sort of gate ourselves so that we are really sort of ready for the next tier of. Uh, uh, of patients coming in so uh, we're going to get some training set up so that um, we can really start building up a decent set of GPs here before we start moving uh, onto some crazy stuff so training um, I'm going to fill this space with training I think so they're 14 by 4 so if we do uh, I'll just really go does it 14 we do 4 8 12 so four by fours, they're quite small, aren't they? Really, I think they should, we think training rooms should probably be bigger. Let's try. Um, no, nope, let's just get rid of all that. No, 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 no. Let's just let's just cancel everything and start again. Okay, what about here? Uh, you're you're pretty much the same size, aren't you? It's a, it's a it's a it's a uh, yeah, it's basically a mirror image, isn't it? Okay, so how about? 10 by 4, 10 by 4, all right, let's just do that so I can work it out. So we can have 1, 2, and then that's a 5 by 5. So how would you how would you split a 5 by 5 up? Huh, can't really do it nicely, can we? What about if we did something like that? And had that as a bathroom. Like that. No, oh, I'm trying to get rid of you. What on earth is happening here? Oh, we can't split them up, right? Because they're separate rooms. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, alright then. So let's do... Let's do that as our training room. And we can make this work relatively well, I think. So if we do... A door right in the middle because I'm going to be copying and pasting this over to here you see so a door right in the middle um, and then a couple of uh, windows at the front just oh, we can't actually click them in can we we'll do them there then uh, and then I want the, the room to kind of be side on actually and again don't want massive amounts of, uh, of trainees in, in these rooms because they don't um, uh, you're only ever going to train like two or maybe three at once, so that's kind of what we're going to go for here. Like we'll do, we'll go for four. Yeah, that looks pretty, pretty bob on I reckon. Uh, a whiteboard on the wall. We never had one of these before. There's a lot of stuff here we didn't have. What's that? Two training speed, four percent training speed. Um, are they just what? Do they just look different? Do they? Let's have a look. Oh no, you are a bit bigger and a bit better. Okay, so you're going to be the one we use. Um, and we're going to go... Not crazy with these. But I do want to kind of have a... Make it so it's like a library, really. Um, I don't know why sometimes they don't quite line up. That's a bit weird. That's okay, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, they kind of... They, so they're clicking in. 
But for some reason, these aren't. So is it the... Uh, oh, there we go. I was wondering if it was just me. Yeah, it was just that one there, wasn't it? Okay. Uh, another row of you, I think. Like this. So it's like so it's like proper library shelves. And also, it's going to speed up our training, which is perfect for us. Um, is that enough? Yeah, that's enough. Okay. A couple of filing cabinets. Um, what I was thinking was if we kind of make this as a... <gasps> I'll tell you what we'll do. We don't do this very often, actually, but we'll do it. Let's pull you there. Let's um, let's make the room like that. Okay. And then we can move these up to the wall. Like that. Okay. Uh, and then spread these across a little. Fortunately, we just mean we're going to have to click all these, like lots. Boom. And all these ones. But then we've actually got sort of like a proper contained library space, you know? Like that, with the wall breaking that and that off. That's good. So then people can get around there and they can hear what's going on. Um, we'll get a sanitizer on the inside there. And we'll get coffee maker very much so yes coffee maker there um, and maybe just a couple of a couple of normal bookcases as well yeah a couple of normal bookcases what do they actually help with reduces boredom okay it doesn't really help us too much um, let's get a display is training speed and autonomy is training speed as well so these will kind of be over here as like training aids um, but they, they wouldn't be right next to each other, though, would they? What about let's put you here, and we can point things, point to things. Um, okay, couple of awards because you know we want people to know they've done well. That would be a good spot to put them on there. Uh, notice board down the bottom here, so people can see what's going on. A couple of chairs, so if you want to just get a little read. You can come and get a little read. We'll have one over here by the coffee as well. Clock on the uh, the wall by the door. I think this is looking like a pretty sweet little uh, little training room. I'm gonna stick a couple of posters along the back wall here, just to kind of give us that extra little bit of uh, you know. Please refer to the poster on the back wall. Uh, the ones that kind of look mostly like training, you know. Um, which I think are probably those ones. You know, where they sort of like, it looks like they're pointing to different sections. They're both cubism, though, unfortunately. Oh, brain autonomy. There we go. Well, anatomy, even. Sorry. Let's change that out. Yeah, there we go. That's a bit more training roomy. Let's click go on that. That cost us 108 grand. Jeez, that was an expensive room. Uh, but we're now going to copy it. And we're going to put it back in there. And. Once it's in place, we're gonna have to, we're gonna change the complete room around. So let's click you there and click you there. There we go. Uh, so now let's just go to stuff. There we go. Like that. Okay. So these we don't have to move all of these. I'm gonna sell that chair for now. So we. Uh, okay. What about you? Uh, the coffee machine's in the way, that's the problem. See, some of this will be fine where it is, but some of it is going to have to sort of go the other way. There we go. Now we're, we're cooking on gas, even though it's telling me those things aren't placeable, but give me just one second. Uh, and we'll have fixed it. So, where are those? Encyclopedia, bookcase one. I mean, they cost four grand. That's where the money's going, isn't it? Let's be honest. They can go there. There's no reason. Oh, we did put a chair on that side. Okay, well. Uh, actually, no, we won't have a chair there. What we'll do is we'll have a chair there. And I don't know why, but that seems... like I think I've seen that in TV shows or something. There's like a chair on the end, like maybe where the security guard sits or something. And I'm kind of explaining to myself why I think it's right. <laughs> um, let's put another one in as well then. Okay, so chair there. Uh, and then what else did we have on on this wall? It's over here, look. We had a notice board. There. 
Now, do we swap the whole room over, or do we just kind of deal with the fact that the coffee is a little bit different on this one? I think we just kind of deal with the fact that the coffee is a bit different, don't we? Yep. Okay, and then here we can stick in a... I'm hoping we can stick in a toilet. Really kind of depends if it lets me put a door here. It does. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Um, cubicles. This is going to be quite a big toilet, but we are actually going to make it um, staff only. So, now I, I, I constantly see talk online about um, about hand dryers and stuff not actually being that good, but we kind of need them in there, don't we, really? Let's uh, let's make the better use of this space. Let's put one there. One there. One there. And a couple of hand dryers here. Trash can up in the corner there. Hand sanitizer on the way out. Uh, don't have to worry about radiators or anything like that. I feel like it, I feel like a plant in here would be nice. So we'll have one. I know we don't normally do them, but I do feel like a plant would be nice. And uh, that's probably it. We're not going to have any. You wouldn't have a notice board in the toilet, would you? No, that's going to be it, isn't it? It seems quite an empty room that, but there's very little else we can do with that space, to be honest. So. I think that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, we can do better than that. I want, I'm gonna I'm gonna delete that. Sell the room. Yeah, somebody's gonna buy a second-hand toilet, aren't they? Um, let's do. How many can we do across? We could do that. Okay. Okay. We could do this. We could make a door there. We can have two cubicles up here. It's going to make a much more realistic sized bathroom. We can have ladies and we can have gents. Okay. Hand dryer and bin. Okay. That's pretty much all that's going to be in there. And we set that to be male staff. Can use that one. And then we'll do another one that's kind of opposite. Like that. And we'll set the door here. And then this time the cubicles go on this wall. And then you move over here to use the sink. Hand dryer. Bit. That, I think, is slightly more sensible use of the space. And looks a little better, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. So happy to do that. Okay, so that one's going to be female staff can work in that one. Good. And then here... Do we set these to male and females? No, that can be male patients. And that can be female patients, that one. So the staff, they're going to have to come down here, but I'm kind of happy to let them do it, really. Um, now, the other thing I, I feel like we should put in is an R&D room, a research and development room, but we've got everything researched. So I'm not really sure whether it's going to be any use to us. I guess we can use it to research cash. Because you can you can just send it on a on a on a cash making mission, can't you? Or I was thinking, give a long one there like that. Big research department, but just full of servers and stuff. Let's go for it. So here's where they come and stand. Uh, so so let's have a look. Filter the memory software. Assist in research power. One percent research power. Supercomputers. Two percent server. One percent. So. Um, no, do you know what? We're not going to do this now because it's going to spend a lot of money for a room that isn't really going to be much use. I think instead, what would be better would be a um, advertising one. I can, the marketing, they call it, don't they? Marketing, there we go. We'll get a marketing room on the go instead and maybe even do, uh, do two of these. Um, like that to kind of use a good bit of the space. Because these are these are quite useful, even for a uh, a smaller hospital where stuff isn't really happening. Um, boo -doo, boo -boo -doo -boo. Okay, table. Um, let's get some staff in here. Let's do like a proper little uh, um. What? I want you to snap, please. There we go. 
you know what I mean? What am I trying to say? Like a like a, a box where people work. I don't know what cubicle. There we go. Cubicle is the word I'm trying to think of. Ba -da, da -da -da -da. Yeah. Does that look right? That's all. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, drawing boards. I don't think they need one of these, but we'll get a couple of these in by the window. Looking sexy. There we go. A couple of them in. Uh, flip chart. Need a flip chart near this thing, near the table and chairs. Uh, we're actually very quickly running out of space here. You know, we're gonna. We're probably going to make this place bigger. Um, there we go. Flip chart so they can see what's going on. Because we've got sofas and lava lamps and all sorts. Look, and a sexy rug. Uh, okay. Yeah. Let's um. Let's make this space a bit more, a bit bigger. Let's do it like this. Um, let's just take off a little there, in case we want to do something. We could put like a couple of chairs or something there. Um, again, I'm tempted to kind of do this. I don't know why, but I feel like having the two areas separate could be good. What would you have? Now you'd have like this. This is the boardroom, isn't it? This is the this is the bit that's separate, really. So what about? Um, what about something then that we can sort of close that space off with like that there we go and we would have doors in there all right now i know we're doing a weird window thing there so let's just um no i think we, if we do it we're gonna have to do it that way because the weird window that's fine okay fill that space in okay so now the build the boardroom now is going to be two of them uh, when I find the other one again. So, where are you? Marketing table. No. Uh, can we only have one of those? We can only have one of you. Alright, that's fine. So, you go there. Um, we got a flipboard on the wall. And, there's, and, the, and the whiteboard to go on the wall as well. There you go. That's looking a bit more like what it would look like now. That's good. So have you a bit closer. Can we get a coffee machine in here? My word, because this would be like number one coffee spot, wouldn't it? Let's be honest. Um, bookcase. Uh, definitely some yuccas. This place kind of screams yuccas, to be honest. In fact, it's probably like too many yuccas, if anything. There we go. Uh, I don't think no posters. Yeah, I feel posters, but maybe the more sort of like more like these are previous campaigns we've done that have gone well. Posters, you know, like yeah, the food, the yeah, the food hygiene one we did, the food pyramid one we did was very successful. Yeah, 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 you know that kind of thing. Um, all right, painting wise, can we do? Oh no, yeah, drawings on the wall for like ideas and stuff. Notice board ideas, yeah. Jasmine Odyssey, we'll get one of them on the wall because that now that starts to look a bit messy now, isn't it? Let's put you here instead. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay. So, um, I feel like these need to probably be a bit more um, spatial now. There we can. Because I think we started a bit too keen with the, it's a bit too small with the space, if anything. There we go. Um, and a couple of these in here. There we go. Just that slight wonk. Just I know because it annoys people. Um, <laughs> right. What? So what was the area we we're just making room for there? It was like sofas and stuff, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sofas are yeah. okay. Cool. All right. There we go. Sofa. There we go. Let's do. This is the kind of workout room. We're just coming in here, messing around with some ideas and stuff. The amount of people I know who talk like this is ridiculous. Um, you do. You, some of them are lovely, but you deal with a lot of this kind of person when you start growing as a as a let's player. You know, no, no names, <laughs> but there are definitely people who uh, whose basically job it is to speak to me, who <laughs> work in the video games industry, who do have a habit of kind of talking like that. You know, and just really getting some great ideas down on the page. You know. Um, like that. Bean bags. Luckily, most of the ones I deal with on a regular basis are fantastic, of course. Um, I feel like we need a bin in here, but I'll get one, I guess. And I'd be very surprised if anything here can blow up. 
Oh, but they you probably can in No, I could probably can't in here, can it? I don't think the lectern can blow up. Let's get one in just in case. I, can't, I mean, there's a bulb in it, I suppose. There's no reason why it couldn't not do it. What? Uh, Aircon unit, no. Coffee maker, do we get another coffee maker in somewhere? I feel like this probably would be high demand for coffee. And yuccas. High demand for coffee and yuccas. There we go. That's looking much more uh, like what I envisioned. Sofas away from the wall because that's annoying. And I just, I imagine, just, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm so angry about it, but I imagine this room would be a very annoying room to spend time in. And one thing I really find very annoying is sofas away from a wall. Um,. Yeah, just no, just kind of crash, man, you know, just like totally just consider what people are thinking, you know, and, oh, man, I, don't, <laughs> I think I might be having a breakdown. I think this is what a breakdown is, folks. Um, I just want to cut like, a couple of armchairs in places where you would really not expect to find an armchair, like there, just, yeah, there's an armchair here, yeah, just, just grab it and pull it over, man. Uh, lamp. And another lamp up here. I really like these lamps. I wish they were a bit more open because I would, I would put them in other rooms, you know. I, I think they look good. I'm actually going to move that one over there just so the room doesn't get too uh, mixed together. There we go. That's our awesome research room. We've got totally wasted space there and there, but I kind of like the, the walkthrough area, you know. Yeah, that's good. Uh, right, so that's the building done for this level, I think. What we need to work on there, we're going to keep this as an open space. We'll have this as like a plaza. Over here will most likely be R&D, eventually, research. But what I, <coughs> excuse me, what I want to start doing is working on... Uh, ah, we need some applicants, so 16 days. I'm going to wait until these are full. I'm going to hire four doctors and pay to get them uh, to start the process of them being amazing. Okay, I've hired three docs, and we're now going to get started on uh, general practice. There we go. And we're going to train. We're going to bring in a guest trainer because nobody's got it so far. Uh, and we are going to send four of the docs we've got. Two, three, four. Yep. Start training. They're all going to learn at the same time. Let's speed the game up a little bit. Ward required. Home. Uh, home. A lot of ward needed. That's going to be next episode, I guess. I didn't think it was that that quick. Um, so if you're not, if you're not getting trained, which I suppose is going to be you and you, since you're wandering around, can you go in there? Invalid navigation. There you go. Swapped over. So you're coming over. Now the problem is here is that they're going to be tired. Staff room. That's what we haven't done that we were going to do. Okay. Um, go on, we'll do a quick staff room while they're training. Let's... Um, staff room. What sort of space have we got? We could do something fancy with the staff room. We can come down here and have that as a corridor that comes around into research. You know? And do something like that. It's pretty crazy, but it gives us corridor, corridor, pl central plaza still, which is what we want. So let's do, go on then, we'll do, okay, door there, window, um, let's just go to normal speed. Um, let's have this as a sofa area. Armchair. Oh, we've got a lot of stuff here that we've never had before. Look, dartboard is one. I don't think I've ever seen... Excuse me, I don't think I've ever seen them use a dartboard. So that'll work pretty well there, won't it? Behind the dart... Behind the... Behind the uh, TV. I've got the hiccups. Oh, hate the hiccups. Coffee tabler. Lomp. A uh, couple of bean bags. Nothing crazy, though. This is a marketing... Uh, exercise frame punching bag we'll have over there in a moment. Where's the rug? Where's the lovely rug? Beautiful. Somebody commented in the last episode of this that I put the the rug on the wonk. is really stressing them out. Sorry. It's just kind of how we do things here, you know. Let's move the door over. Let's have the, the entrance more like here. Okay. Deluxe luxury snacks machine. We're going to have a luxury snacks machine, and we're going to have a luxury drinks machine. We don't need them to be... We'll have energy drinks as well. I suppose it's nice to give them the option, isn't it? 
and then we'll have a um, a bin. Where is the bit? Can we not have a bin? Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, cool. Right, next, arcade machines, because because we can. We're gonna have two of them. Uh just separate them a little there. And we'll have a fire extinguisher because there is probably a possibility of some of that burning up. Do we have another lamp in here? Just because the lamps are pretty cool. Another lamp. Um, okay, lockers. Let's have a little row of lockers here. Well, they can go... See, this is the thing you see. How close can stuff go together? It seems to change as you build. There we go. So we have some lockers. Uh, some exercise equipment down here as well. Punching bag. On the wall there. And what else do we not have? So yeah, like a drinks making area, I guess. Bit of a weird setup this one, but like a little kitchenette would be good, you know. So it's not just uh, coffee. We could put a cupboard in. That kind of looks like it's could be storage for stuff. There we go. And then let's have a notice board by this because it's where you would come for all your uh, notices. Thank yous, thank you messages, like stuck in there behind that all sort of on the thing. And then a clock somewhere you could see it pretty well, I guess. There would be good. And another one on this wall so you can really see what's going on. Um, and I think that is pretty good. That's a pretty good looking staff room. So like I say, we made a corridor here and we've made a corridor at the back here. And we've got research space still here. I want to put a f I want to put the um, we use the big fountain there, so I want here to be the little fountain. Um, and how are we doing for money? We spent a lot of money this episode, to be honest. So this is definitely going to have to be the last thing we put down. And let's figure it out. So four and three. So there is halfway that way. All right. Let's check this way. See, so personally, it looks like it has to go. That's five that side and six that side. So yeah, there you go. That is that, that is the dead center of this space, which is kind of perfect. So now bench wise, it looks like there is a, there is stuff people can do in the fountain. I don't particularly want them to do that in the fountain. So I'm going to cover it up with their. I don't know what it is they do, but it it ain't going to be good, is it? Let's be honest. It ain't going to be. A good thing. We'll do a few uh, bins around because it shouldn't be too messy here because the only real uh, thing you're going to get, let's put one down there actually, it's probably better. The only real thing you're going to get is stuff, is food from here and there's a bin there once they've used it anyway. What we do with this, the, sort of these spaces, I don't really know. It'd be nice if we could just like draw a wall within rooms um, that it doesn't take up a whole thickness of tile or maybe they could like a half thickness that's just sort of solid. That would, I'd be more than happy with that. Um, here, I feel like we should have something that people can use, but what? Um, those phones would probably work quite nicely in these spaces. You know, a little private place to come and make a phone call. That's exactly the sort of thing you would find in there, actually. Um, as for that one on its own, really struggling to think of something that would fit there and make sense. Oh, that kind of makes sense. You know, that's just like a, this was donated to us by Ed Frederick D. Arthurfeld or whatever. Um, and I feel like bookcases would be relatively acceptable here because, um, you know, this is a this is a staff only building, basically. And it'd be interesting to see if any, now we've put some stuff in here, uh, if any customers, uh, customers, if any patients actually do come in. Um, send patient home, psychiatry, yeah, psychiatry and ward um, seems to be next episode, I think. That's looking pretty good. We've built a lot there, to be honest. Um, general practice is already learned. God, that was quick, wasn't it? Uh, general practice were learned, general practice learned. Okay, so if they've all finished that, um, they're not going to be able to research straight away again, are they? Because we have to wait for these to fill up. So what we'll do is we'll let them get a break first, if they want one. Let's see whether any of them do. 
See, there you go. You Am I going to have to do it for you, am I? If I put you in here, I'm going to get you all... Uh, can I pick you up because you're still on the door closing thing? Let's have a look. You might as well all get rested. Oh, you're alright. You can, you can start work. Uh, there you go. And then what we'll do is kick out... Uh, yeah, promote. Go for it, yeah. Uh, no training just yet. Uh, send patient home, send patient home. Yeah, psychiatry and ward. We're going to actually start treating people other than them. Because at the moment, we've just got the pharmacy, to be honest. Um, I'm pretty sure we only have the pharmacy that could... Oh, we got a death. We were doing so well. 56. That should go down to zero again now. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Rip. Oh, that might be a problem. Ghost has been sighted because we don't have anyone with good stuff here. Um, so, let's get a couple of these going straight away on the whole learner qualification. Ghost capture by Peter Geist. And let's chuck a couple more of you in as well. Start. Let's get that because otherwise that ghost is going to cause turmoil. Absolute turmoil. Um, they're all having a nice little rest. Staff training? Not now. Send patient home. I'm going to do this a little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. Shock horror? No. Can't do anything about that just yet. Oh, yeah, look. They're having a punch. Oh, I'd love to see them use the dartboard. He's just having a dance. Is she using the dartboard? I'd really love to see somebody have a go on the dartboard. Anyone? Does it work? <gasps> no. Oh, they keep going to go to it and then changing their mind. What on earth was that all about? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, ward required, go home. Uh, hello? Not now. Are you all fully rested? I, I'm hoping you leave the room when you're not. No, no, you're not, Look, You're on call. Get to work. You can go in there. We'll open, you. We'll open the room up now. Now we've got four trained with level one. Uh, you're going to come out and then you should walk back in again. No. All right then. So um, let's go to our doctors then. Let's start sorting these out. Staff. Because we've got too many of them at the moment. Uh, docs. There we go. So the ones that aren't trained now, you're going to get fired. And then what we do, fire, is when all four of these are ready for level two, we chuck them all in there. Throw in a couple of crappy ones in, just to kind of, you know, hold on the load a little. And, um... Portis head, no way. Miles off that one. And then we can, uh... And then, yeah, that's the idea, basically. Then you, you, you work the way, you work your way up like that. Staff challenge, 90 days, we, we failed, yeah. Lots of, lots of people dying. What are you gonna do? Ghosty's running round. But... Our, uh, our staff wing is looking pretty good, I think. Staff wing is looking pretty good indeed. And now, three of our janitors have learned how to capture ghosts, which is pretty good. Uh, people can be promoted. Movie star visit. Yeah, we'll give it a go. Cool. Right, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you can give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Um, if you'd uh, fancy to chat any comments, queries, or questions, that's it. I should really just pre-record this. I haven't got to say it every time, shouldn't I? Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop them down in the comments. If you fancy a chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server. You'll find the link for that in the description. Thank you very much to all of our Patreons who make these videos possible through their support at patreon.com slash geekism. And uh, don't forget to check out our affiliate links in the description. Get yourself free games and other goodies and support the channel while you're at it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.